Hello folks, welcome to Banjo Barbecue. Banjo here, your host. Today we've got something new. You know, today we've got um, Hawaiian style barbecue we're gonna do. So y'all join along with me once I wake up. It's going to be a long smoke. Uh, got a good, pretty good recipe from um, another YouTube channel. Uh, they do the traditional style Hawaiian barbecue. Excuse me. And uh, we're excited. I'll stick around. Good morning to you all. We are on, it's the same, my minion method. We're using Jealous Devil Lump Charcoal. And on top, I've got some B&B &B competition briquettes. In my opinion, I feel like they, they get it started off um, pretty good. And that lump charcoal just, it's just the fuel to that train. It's just like, hash, hash. Shush. I apologize. Uh, like I said, it's it's just the fuel that goes to that locomotive, and it just that that jealous devil lump charcoal. It just pushes it right on through, steady like Johnny Cash, as steady as a train. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna let this heat up here, and Morning, everybody. we'll bring you right along. Here. Welcome again to Banjo Barbecue. Banjo here, your host. Uh, today we're doing a little bit things different. We're gonna. Both of our pork butts are been sitting 24 hours in a nice little bath. One's an apple juice bath, and the other one is a pineapple and ginger ale bath, just sitting overnight. And I even gave it the I gave it the vaccine for barbecue. Uh, anyway, vaccine. <laughs> Uh, uh, we gave it, we injected it with um, peach juice throughout the whole uh, butt. Uh, it swelled up like a pig. <laughs> but it's, anyway, yes. Uh, I injected it with peach juice. Um, put the. Uh, all the ingredients on it we used the uh, salty we use it this salty smoky salt and cracked pepper from uh, pit boss and some garlic but garlic um, powder or granulated garlic it's what it was uh, but anyway we put that on there real good and overnight and let it sit and all that stuff so we're going to unload them here today. I'm supposed to be going over to my brother Chris's house today and picking up some firewood and different things that he's got for me over there. Brother Chris, thank you for everything you do, brother. Appreciate you. Fine, outstanding gentleman. But, uh, yeah. But we got some other things up coming up for you folks here, too. Uh, uh, I've been researching on some things, and... Uh, Y'all hit your subscribe button, hit the little dingy bell there, and uh, you wait and see. We got some, we got some nice stuff for coming. Shh, Chris, don't tell them now. Don't tell them. But yeah, uh, y'all stay tuned, and uh, let's get this thing started. We're just sitting here waiting on this fire to come up. <clears throat> She's coming. We got some pretty high flames right now. Once she get, once she ashes over, she'll be ready to go. 
In the meanwhile, I just wanted to talk about friendships and what people mean to you. I've been barbecuing uh, probably going on 10 years now. But I've, when I first started, I remember uh, if the whole woods was smoking, that's the best way to do it. Just, I mean, rolling smoke, black, blue, yellow, purple, whatever it was, rolling smoke. I thought it was the best thing in the world. Uh, yeah, like, well, I keep getting heartburns, you know, and God, I love them. And uh, as I began to learn more and, you know, and, and watch more people and, and really the barbecue community, the more people I talked to, the more, and it was never a judgy. It was never, uh, this community is never a judgy. That's what I like about this whole barbecue community. And it, and I started watching T. Roy Cooks and, uh, and and Moonshine over there, old Moonshine Roadhouse, and ja <clears throat> James, Uncle James, aim them, claim them smokers, uh, Baby Back Maniac. I, I he's helped me out tons, even with my channel, you know, uh, just different because he, you know, he, he's 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 good at what he does. He's really good at what he does. He's he's a he's a video pro. Uh, just uh, different things and just you know I, I thought you know I, I was kind of embarrassed you know because I was like I don't know this stuff this guy's in here they're not going to talk to me you know but uh, sure enough that's barbecue community it, there's no judgment I mean they, you know they, they just say that they started out the same way I did you know but uh, I'm still learning I'm still learning I'm, I'm very appreciative of uh, the contacts that I have and uh the, the love and support that, that all all these guys, I mean, I, I, there's tons more. There's tons more that I watch. I just, I can't remember them all. I just know that these four pillars was what my, uh, what, what I learned through because, it, you know, it's, it's my, they, they was my main go-to, you know. Um, they just... You know, they, they, they'd get together and they, they'd have their cooks and stuff like that, you know. And I'm thinking, golly, man, these dudes, these dudes are like, to my eyes, they're gods. You know, they're they're like uh, barbecue gods. You know, they, they don't mess up, you know. But, you know, they, they show in their video that, you know, some things just don't work out. They just don't pan out. <clears throat> but all that to say is I've, I've come a long way. And I try to do the same thing to others, you know. Like if uh, I hear somebody new, like, oh, yeah, I just bought me a... Uh, uh, a smoker, you know, and it's, you know, those little, um, like a little small, um, like a $5 grill at Walmart, and they've made a smoker out of it. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, that, that ain't going to work that good unless, you know, but they have to start out just like I do, and I have to think, well, don't be judgmental, but, uh, but yeah, and, and uh, but I've had a lot of help along the way and a lot of support through these guys. And if there's anybody that, out there that wants to, to learn more about barbecue and really do want to learn it, I would go. I'd go to Uncle James, uh, Aim on Clem on Smokers, and uh, Baby Back Maniac, T. Roy Cooks, Uncle T. Roy, and, and uh, Moonshine, old Moonshine. Me and, me and him, we, we'll, we'll poke fun at, you know, back and forth and we have a good time. Old Moonshine. Uh, I think uh, I think I talked to or message back and forth on oh, oh, uh, moonshine <clears> oh <throat> Sean uh, a lot you know we uh, you know, I'll send him something you know, something and he'll send me something back and we uh, I get a lot of ideas from him like I see him do something I'm like well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it like that but I want to add on to it not not taking away from him at all yeah, his his is top notch. But I think, you know, if, if I want mine maybe a little bit more spicy or something, you know, like, doggone, he's got a good idea, you know. But, uh, yeah, then I'll try it. He had a, uh, a really good uh, uh, beef roast that he done on the smoker on the Traeger. Oh, man, you talking about <laughs> mouth-watering. So I tried it. I did it on my WSM and uh, uh, made a, uh, a roast out of it. I smoked it, smoked it out, and made a roast out of it. And that whole, it just, it, it just, the flavor on that thing just went out the roof. It, it, I'll never do it again. I'll never, 
let me take that back. I'll never do another roast without smoking the, excuse me, the beef roast first. It's just, you can't go back from that. It was tender. Golly, it was tender. But anyway, we've got flames shooting up about five feet high right now. So, uh, let's, let's, shush, shush. Excuse me. Uh. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna dump these coals here, and y'all come along with me. Thank you again. Oh, cheers to you! I just want to thank all those guys, Uncle T. Roy, Moonshine. There's T, buddy. Uncle, Uncle James. I see. Is it Jason Johnson? Justin, paperback maniac, here's to you, buddy. Let's get this thing going. Devil, devil don't up. slow down. I wish you'd see really how high these flames are going. Heck yeah! Whoa, <laughs> easy. I had to go get my, my Superman gloves on here. I don't want to get burnt. wood today for this smoke that's what I love about this door folks Just little chips that I've got. They're not really going to last long. I'm just going to put it all in there. That's all I got. I think that'll do enough for our cook. Yes, sir. I've got both back vents shut completely off. This one's the only one that's open. This one and the top one, I never shut the top one. Uh, yeah. So, that door, I definitely must. It's one of those things that uh, I'm going to do my new WSM over here that I've got. Got another one, WSM. I'm going to put that door on there too. <coughs> So, okay, we'll stick back, folks. I've got my peach juice we're going to inject this pork butt with. With some SC Callahan's. Bourbon. Get me a glove here, real quick. Hold on to it.
Come, baby. This can make her nice and tender. It's a squirter. Yeah, that's what Daddy likes. I'm coming, baby. Hold on. Ella. Ella girl. I think that's enough.
Okay, now what we have here is the traditional style Hawaiian barbecue. We're just going to put some, and it smells really good, by the way. And I'm just going to stuff different cubes in different places. All right. So we're going to get this out on the pit. We've got the other one over here. It's just it's just marinating in apple juice. Um, it's just traditional style. But this is the the Hawaiian style barbecue, and we're gonna try it out and see how it goes. Gotta stay okay. Tuned. What we've got we've got the Hawaiian and just our traditional style barbecue. The Hawaiian has just got uh, the um, garlic, smoked uh, salt, pepper, cracked pepper. Um, I injected it with uh, peach juice. It's got the pineapples on top of it also. It has been injected throughout with pe peach juice. Um, we're gonna let it come up to 160, whether it's in the stall or not, we're gonna come up to 160. I'm gonna pull it, we're gonna wrap it, put some more um, pineapple juice or peach juice over it and put it back on the, on the, on the smoker with, the, with it wrapped. The traditional, we're gonna do it just like always, 160 at the stall and pull it but what I want to do right now I'm just pulling them out of the bag where they're sitting all night I'm just going to refresh them up with the uh, with the ingredients and uh, get the uh, rubs back on them where they're kind of washed off and and all that so uh, back on with the uh, the JPAP with this in here with the traditional this is such a thick piece of meat you're not going to hurt it to Put a little extra seasoning on it. My little girl, she's dying to get in the camera. Can you hear in the background? She's a she's an attention getter like her mom. She's got to have attention. And this time, both both of these pork butts, I'm going to do fat side down, since I always pull that sludge off at the end of the cook. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a uh, fat side down, so the fat that does fall, it can uh, be fa fall into the fire, and also render good seasoning back up. That was Ella, folks. That was not me. Excuse her. Oh, and back on with the sexy chicken. Now, this recipe did call for a habanero. We do not do habanero on this one. It's all going to be just uh, traditional Hawaiian style. So, I left the habanero out of it. All right. All right, folks, let's go out to the pit and uh, let's put them on. We have come up to 255. on the pit. All right, let me get these things on here and we'll be ready to rope. Oh, folks, like I said, we're, we're smoking with apple wood.
put the Hawaiian <coughs> traditional style barbecue in the back because the, the probe is like this. Like I said, both of these are going to be fat side down. So both of them are going to be fat side, fat cap down. And we're going to roll with it just like that. Get this probe in here. Just like that. All right. All right, folks, uh, we're going to let these roll for several hours. We're going to come out, we're going to spritz them, and I'm going to spritz the one with just apple juice, just apple juice, and the other one I'm going to spritz traditionally with apple juice and uh, uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, we're going to let them get to 160, whether they're in the stall or not. We're going to go to 160, wrap them. Uh, the other one I'm going to pour a little bit more juice inside of, the the Hawaiian, we're going to put some more of the uh, um, peach juice inside of it. The traditional, we're just going to wrap it. Y'all stick with us, and we're going to we're going to see how this thing turns out. I'm going to do a little spare rib smoke. Uh, this in here, we're going to do on JPAP seasoning. JPAP, y'all. Check it out. bit of sexy chicken on here. I'm just going to do salt and pepper because a little woman likes salt and pepper. But I'll show you how I do it.
That's how I'm going to do both of the other ones. Just like that. I won't bore you guys with any more. We'll put these on here and uh, I'll, whenever we get them done, we'll follow, you can follow me off to the, to the smoke. That blue hue. That's what I like to see. She's still holding steady. We're going strong. We're at 130 degrees internal temperature. Now on that Hawaiian traditional, we're going to put some, uh, we're going to lather it in some uh, Sweet Baby Ray's Hawaiian style barbecue sauce. And on the other one, I'm going to put, uh, lather it up with some Sweet Vidalia Onion barbecue sauce. Things of dreams made of right here. Things of dreams right here. And on this one, it's just going to be the sweet Vidalia onion on the top. That bark's good and set in. Thing of beauty. We're more than halfway there, folks. Let's get you over here so you can see this. Oh, yeah. We're back. We're at 160 degrees internal temperature. I'm going to pull this out. We just need to mark on the outside which one's which. Okay, this is the original. Now, this one I'm going to put this Hawaiian sauce. I'm going to 
through the lid. these wrapped up we got two bolt pork butts on the smoker three uh, spare ribs and then over here for lunch with the spare ribs we got some hot dogs are coming on we're rolling these old mountains Tennessee mountains over here it's rolling the smoke it ain't just a great uh, smoky mountains right now because of the land of the blue smoke the blue smoke Coming from my back porch. <laughs> Woo! We're still holding strong. We're still holding strong. That's one thing I like about them jealous devils. But it, it I keep all right on trucking. Right, oh back. yeah. It's time to get these Stay with us, man. Uh, spare ribs off and wrap them. And I'm going to try something new this time. I think it's going to be a really good idea. But I'm going to pull these off, these pork butts off, set them up. We're going to pull out these uh, ribs and get them ready to go. And I'm going to wear my Superman gloves that uh, my good best friend, my best good buddy, Chris Snyder, bought for me. Look at these things. You're talking about welding material, son. Boom, 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 boom. I feel like a superhero. Ready? You got your gloves to pick these things up? My trusty assistant's going to wear my other, my Batman gloves. These are Superman gloves. She's going to wear the Batgirl gloves. Other hand, <laughs> no, other hand, flipping them around. Make sure nothing stuck to them like stink bugs or something. All right. We're just putting them on here, right? Yep. Okay. And if you don't care, take that. Am I grabbing the meat or the rat? Grab the, the meat. Good job. Look at that pullback. I want you to look at that pullback. Look at the pullback on these. Oh, careful. They're already falling apart. That's awesome. Oh, ton of my toe. Ouch. Ow. The smoke in my eyes. Wrestle it now. Get it. Look at that pullback. pullback. Look at that. Awesome. Now we'll pull this thing out. All right, good deal. Now I'm gonna put these. Talk on that hurt. Yeah. Put these back on here. Whoa. I'm glad I got my welders on. Did you see that? Yeah. I think I broke the toe. Which one? All of them. Look at it, squished them flat. All right, let me get this other thing on here. I think those ribs are done. We don't need to wrap them. Check this out. D U N N done.
<clears throat> Beautiful smoke ring. Mm. At JPAP. That's where it's at, y'all. And the sexy chicken. JPAP. All right, we are, as you can see, we are at the 200 mark. We're going to pull these bad boys and sit and let them rest. This we'll is the right original. This is the Hawaiian. And they both turned out fabulous. Mm. We're going to plate these uh, barbecue up and uh, I'll let you know how it goes. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. This is the Hawaiian. Let's try this and see how this goes. Mm. Like heaven. How does yours taste? I'm good on the animal beans. Beans? Uh, Levi, how's yours? Good. How's yours? I'll mm. never stop eating. I can mm. tell you my mouth's full. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, folks. That's good on the Hawaiian. Let's try. This is a sweet baby Ray's sweet golden mustard barbecue sauce. Barbecue. We all do a good, awesome barbecue. All of us together make a team. We're better than the Avengers. Uh, probably not. That'd be better if we don't. You guys will get stuck like that. Mm. Am I right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, you're actually alright. Oh. For a backwoods Kentucky boy, I think we nailed it. North Carolina barbecue and Hawaiian barbecue. You're doing so good on this, Daddy. Mm-hmm. Give you a little Thank you, baby. Mm. Mm. Best barbecue ever? Yes. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Hi. Are you getting this? Uh huh. Riley, you want to you wanna walk us out? What? Tell them if they like, they like, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for joining us. Mm. <laughs>